Hey you, this is Jasim from CodeBand and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a live server in Django. So the overall idea about the uh, whole live server setup is very simple. Consider you're building a new project. Now the usual procedure is you'll write some code, then you'll save those files, you'll go into the browser, and then you'll refresh the browser and see the output. This is a kind of usual procedure that you are following. Now, there are two problems in this case, in this scenario. The first problem is that you need to save the files before you, you can actually see the output. So again, it's kind of repetitive task. Every time you write some code, you need to save the files. Mm, that's not good. So the solution to this problem is also a bit simple because most modern IDEs do support the auto saving feature so you just need to write the code saving will be automatically done by that uh, kind of IDE so PyCharm do support this and also the VS code has this feature too so that problem the problem number one is fixed now the second problem is again the browser issue you need to reload the browser you need to refresh the browser so that you can see the output so again a repetitive task it's not a good thing again you need to do again and again so the solution to that particular problem is the one that we are going to be showing you in this video the live server setup so with these two i mean with these two setup the auto saving feature plus the live server setup you'll get a biggest one i mean a biggest feature like you don't have to do anything you just need to write the code the saving the refreshing everything will be done automatically you, you just need to write the code look into the browser for the output that's it so this is the overall idea about the project and uh, yeah with that being said uh, let's jump right into it All right, guys so now we are in the implementation part so what I've created here is a simple Django project and we have set up a base URL um, which will uh, at the end render a home.html page now again the home.html is just outputting a hello Django in an h1 tag and that's it the output you can see it's pretty much this one now um, we're, we're discussing two different problems uh, in the introduction part the first one was the auto saving feature which is uh, supported in VS code and in PyCharm now I'm using VS code you can use any IDEs now in order to solve the problem we have mentioned like the auto save feature which you can go into the file section you can see the auto save feature being turned on so in PyCharm you know it's uh, the uh, it's by default it's uh, automatically there you don't have to actually set any auto saving feature but in VS code you have to just set the auto saving functionality over here so with that um, we'll uh, move into the second problem the uh, live server I mean the browser refresh problem so for that uh, I, I, you can see a, a package a custom package is there Django live reload server now I have seen a couple of packages having the same live reload functionality but this one seems to be uh, less error prone so that's why I'm suggesting uh, this particular package so we, we uh, I'll put the link in the description section so that you can follow along now we need to go into the readme section you can see we need to first install the package so I'll quickly copy this command over here I'll go into here and install that now it's saying successfully installed now the next step is to add a live reload into installed app section so we need to just copy this line of code here now remember that there is something called uh, you need to um, uh, put that uh, particular live reload before django.contrib.static file so make sure uh, you do accordingly so we'll go into the settings.py in the installed app section before the static files contrib here I'll paste that in and then uh, in the documentation you can see we have that middleware needs to be added so just copy this line of code here and add to the middleware section copy that in the middleware section maybe at the bottom at the very bottom we'll add that stuff 
now with this being said everything the basic configuration is set up now uh, we need to use the uh, or we need to test the functionality so for that we need to do two things the first thing is to start the live reload server so just copy this command now with this basic setup we we get access to this particular management command called live reload so just copy this line of code here and just paste it over in the terminal python manage.py live reload and then we need to start the regular django development server maybe in the another console another terminal so we'll copy this line of code here we'll create a new terminal here by clicking on the plus icon then we'll paste that basic django development server so with this being said you can see we can see a live reload request emitted which means our live reload server is working now let's test it out so if we go into the uh, django live server and just refresh uh, just to you know uh, start with the first time you can see that basic hello django is there now we are going to um, make a change so i'll change this to hi so let's see if this works so you can see that without refreshing without saving i got that particular output and you can see that it's being automatically uh, this uh, particular uh, page is being refreshed over there now you can also see that in the uh, other uh, command as well i mean in the other output as well so you can see that uh, the live reload command is also running parallelly so uh, you can do pretty much any change so hello hi django and if you go into there you can see that it automatically without refreshing without saving it gives me that output so this is uh, pretty much useful and this is completely working so that's all about the whole video i hope you enjoyed the video now if you have any doubts or any suggestions please let me know in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon near to it so that's it guys thank you for watching we'll see you in the very next one.